Joe Bruno is a private citizen now, the CEO of a consulting company. But apparently the governor thinks that when Bruno speaks, people still listen. In an interview you'll see only on CBS 6, the former state Republican leader tells our Liz Bishop he has been approached by Governor Patterson's people to help convince his former Senate colleagues to vote yes on gay marriage. And he says he's ready to do it. It's time now for government to back off, let people make their own life decisions and about who they care about and who they don't care about. He admits it's not a very Republican viewpoint, but former state Senate Majority Leader Joe Bruno is ready to support gay marriage. How much sway do you think Joe Bruno has with Republican senators today? Probably uh, very little. Uh, from my uh, point of view, I haven't been there, as I've said, in over 10 months, uh, but I spent a lot of years with these people. And I have a lot of respect for each and every one of them, and hopefully they have a mutual respect for me. By law, Bruno has to wait two years after leaving office to lobby state lawmakers. He's got more than a year to go, but he says his opinion might make a difference. Oh, I think sometimes when people who have been in government, who are in the private sector, uh, who take positions, I think that helps influence uh, the thinking sometimes of others on their own. Reportedly, there are a half dozen Republican state senators, including the man who succeeded Bruno, Roy McDonald, who are being targeted by gay rights advocates to change their votes. So just to be clear, you wouldn't directly approach anybody in the Senate about changing his or her vote. You would merely state your view and hope that that might persuade them. Uh, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. I have no intention of being on the phone or, or personally uh, involved in any way interfacing, trying to influence anyone's thinking. Bruno is under a legal cloud, facing an eight-count indictment for violating the federal honest services statute, something he continues to deny. I know I did nothing wrong, and I know when it's all said and done, whether it's sooner or later, I'll be proven totally innocent of any, any charges. Liz Bishop, CBS 6 News. Now we're told that today's uh, capital coup took Bruno by surprise as well. There is no telling what impact today's Senate shakeup might have on all of this.